that Colombian dish in awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Say Columbia Edition WJ Columbia Edition Hey what's up guys I'm Dan H and welcome to the project last weekend I went ahead and painted myself the door cladding to match my front bumper and my rear bumper now what I went ahead and did was made myself a Columbia Edition clone this is a 2003 of course, we all know that Columbia Edition WJs were only made in 2004. They came with a trail rated badge and these little Columbia Edition placards right there. I got all that stuff. I made an official, unofficial Columbia Edition clone. The only difference between mine and a real Columbia Edition trim package would be the front bumper. The 2003 still had the little square looking fog lights, the 2004s at the round but that's it man I, I made myself a nice little clone of the Columbia package on the outside I even got myself some matching Columbia edition chrome wheels looking good very stoked but for the inside what I'm doing with the inside is I'm making it a limited edition clone so much for a Laredo right let's check out the inside here we go here is the WJ interior I got my limited door cards I got my overland steering wheel from the Hornet and I went ahead and I put on my wood grain trim but the only thing left I have to do is put the trim on here this piece is a pain in the butt to change and today I'm going to show you how to do that really quick it's simple but it's difficult all right so this is the only piece left that has to be changed I went ahead and put on the new door cards from a limited. The Laredo ones don't have any trim here. This was silver to match this piece. And to take this out, just take a little 90 degree pick, punch it in, pull it out. Very simple. The vents come with this piece. Get it at both sides and it comes out. Easy peasy, right? We don't have to worry about that. It's probably one of the simplest things you could do. Uh, the steering wheel is a little difficult because you have to get the puller to pull off the steering wheel. And you could... Now the steering wheel that I had was the black one, but I wanted to pop on the Overland wood grain wheel to match. And this piece right over here, this trim piece, again, with the little pick. Oh, there we go. 
that pops right out. And of course, we took out the silver one and put in my wood grain one. Now this one, <laughs> this one is a little bit more than just a pick to remove. Uh, I'll show you what tools we use. It's definitely not this. This won't work. This won't work. These won't work. This wouldn't even work. Wish it would. Love this thing. Thank you, Michael Duck. This, this is the only thing that works. 10 millimeter, with a quarter inch drive. And this thing is a baby, teeny tiny. So we got this little guy with the 10 millimeter. It's a quarter inch drive. Uh, how we're gonna access this, it might make some of you cringe, but it's okay, I've done it before. This is how we're gonna do it. A lot of you ask me how we do it, and this is the best way that I could come up with to replace this piece without having to remove the whole dash. We're gonna access it by first. I'm gonna open up the glove box here. Oh, I got a note. <laughs> I'm a sexy man. <laughs> Thanks, baby. And I got some stickers. Let me know if you guys want some Dan H stickers. So I'm gonna set this down here and yeah, we are going to pry this airbag cover up. I know, I know, it sucks, but we gotta do it. Don't worry, not gonna break anything if you do it gently. There we go, pry it around the vents like that. There we go. All right, now, <laughs> let me show you, we gotta get inside. Gonna put a little bit of stress on this and it'll be okay, trust me. We just gotta get something to brace these corners. All right, I've opted to go with this Grody 2x3. That seems to be all right. And I have already extracted the piece from my other vehicle. This is what we're looking to access. One, two, three, and four. Four little 10 millimeters, hence the 10 millimeter little socket I was using. And we'll just set this up aside. And to get to it, it is difficult. There we go. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> there are the 10 millimeter, and I'm gonna try to reach up and get it. It's gonna be extremely hard to film. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> I may only be able to show you one. So I'll do my best. Really just wanna start it with the 10 millimeter. It's very difficult, but then you could get the rest by hand. Could barely fit my big meaty hands in there. Get your meat hooks off of me. <laughs> if you got smaller hands, God bless you. You're gonna need them. And then, once you crack it, there we go. Just like this. I do believe this is all I'm gonna show you because uh, it's exactly the same, just four different times. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other three let this baby drop down come on come on almost there oh man she's long all right well you guys get the point oh come on Oop, the wood fell it's crushing my wrist hey got it all right the wood fell out the flashlight fell out oh there we go last screw just fell out and there we go. Hey, look at that. This one's actually broken. Imagine that. But this one's out and go ahead and put this one in. Take out these screws first. Screws, fasteners, same difference. There we go. Lay it right, oh, I said lay it right in place. <laughs> I'm gonna go get these screws in. Oh, it's crushing my wrist. Look at those dents. Ouch, it hurts. All right, now if you wanna reach up in here blind, you're more than welcome to, but I'm using this old one as a map. Well, except for that one, <laughs> it's broken off. But you can see where you're trying to put the screws through the holes uh, if you don't wanna reach your face up in there. And there we go. Uh, I got them all in loosely. And now I'm just gonna tighten them up. Hey, 
there we go wood grain is in fastened up nice but now now we're dealing with this oh no dan you made me ruin my wj no 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 i would never leave you astray i would leave the 99 to come back for that one so how we're gonna get out of this jam is we're going to gently push this back in and we're going to tuck it around the vents again can I do it with one hand? I'm pretty good at that, but this might be a little harder because it's very tight. Let me, uh, let me get a tripod. <laughs> hey, here we go. All right, I got a nice fat screwdriver. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think that's Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna go ahead and work this side in. Tuck that corner down. There we go. Get that one in nicely. Now I'm gonna, gonna get this side. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Plug it in, plug it in. And just work that airbag cover down and around. Pop that glove box open. Take a look at my love note. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tuck the bottom in again. There. there. So it's in, but we're not over yet. It still wants to bounce out. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. We got ourselves a quarter inch drive, quarter inch socket and we got a quarter inch self-tapping screw this is teeny tiny guys we're gonna pin these screws right into this plastic frame uh, that's on this dash now we want to use short screws because remember there's an airbag uh, behind this piece so we're gonna go ahead and start the pinnings now all right we're gonna line up a spot where we want to pin it it's gonna hide itself nice and deep into this foam we go mm -hmm. make sure you push in on this pad so it mm -hmm. sucks up nice and tight and that's the first one all right there we have it can't see anything at eye level you gotta sink down nice and deep and then you can see those screw heads but look at it there look at it we got a complete limited interior got my nice overland bezel with my nav unit the old rb1 and uh i am very happy with the way this trim came out there's the rear doors Everything matches, got my privacy cover, and all four doors, got that limited memory seat going, overland steering wheel, I got my ashtray, wood grain also, and now I finally have my passenger dashboard trim, looking nice, looking wood grain, even though my wife hates it, uh, can't win them all. All right, guys, that is gonna do it. It is dark, can't even film anymore. Got my trail rated badge, got my Columbia Edition badge. We officially made a Columbia Edition clone on the outside, and we got my limited edition trim ah, on the inside. One quick last look. Flashlight in there. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know what, I'll do a whole nother walk around video, introduce every little thing I did to this perfect, perfect wj i just blinded you guys sorry perfect wj anyway that's it i'm done remember to like subscribe share this video check the link in the description for any products i used any tools you might need it's all gonna be there so thanks again guys appreciate your views like subscribe catch you on the next one peace hey guys check out this overland trim it is solid aluminum. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs>